Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Clenergy inverter. This one is an SPH30, which is a three kilowatt model. And we have a look on the screen of this one. It's coming up with DC bus high, and you can see the red status light is lit. Now the DC bus high message on a Clenergy inverter is an internal fault with the inverter. And unfortunately it will require the inverter to be replaced. It's not something that you can fix or get repaired it will require the actual replacement of the inverter. One thing I always do recommend though, if you are having an issue such as this on your inverter, is try a reboot of the system. A reboot can be a bit like uh, restarting your computer. It can sort out any glitches. And to do that, what we do is we follow the shutdown procedure, which you can see should be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch at inverter, or sorry, or inverter AC isolator. So the solar supply main switch is in your switchboard. Or you may have an inverter AC isolator like this one here. We're just going to throw that off, inverter AC isolator. Then turn off the PV array DC isolator located at the inverter. So it's uh, one over here in this case, PV array DC isolator. So we're just going to throw that off. And then we wait for the inverter to go completely blank. As you can see it has there, all the lights have gone out, the screen's blank. And then we start up the inverter again. The startup procedure is nowhere important, as important as the shutdown procedure. So we just turn on everything again, inverter AC isolator and the DC isolator as well. And we let the inverter go through a startup procedure here. So you can see it's inverter waiting at the moment. And then it goes through the startup procedure, the, the countdown for a minute. So we'll just wait for that minute to uh, go by. So like if your inverter is coming up with this DC bus high message and it was installed in the last five years, this is something which uh, Clenergy will get sorted out or, or under warranty. If it's outside the five year warranty period, then unfortunately I would recommend replacing the inverter altogether. You could try and spend money and get someone to try and fix it, but you're going to be looking at um, probably four to five hundred dollars to get it repaired if they can even repair it and then you're left with something with no warranty you're much better off buying the bullet and getting a good quality replacement inverter with a full warranty so here we see the county's go countdown's going on seven seconds six five four three two one Let's see what it comes up with and you can see straight away it's come up with the red status light again and the DC bus high error message. So look, if you're having an issue like this and you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions could certainly help. If you're somewhere else around the world, I'd recommend you get in contact with a local solar accredited electrician to assist you further. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.